Well, in 2018 alone, the state of Michigan issued more than 350 license suspensions for failure to pay fees or show up in court. But thanks to a new law that kicks in today, over 73,000 people across Michigan whose licenses were suspended for non-driving related offenses can get back on the road. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is taking an in-depth look at the new law and how it's protecting one local woman from additional problems. October 1st is a big day for people in Michigan who had their driver's licenses suspended for something that had nothing to do with their ability to drive, such as not being able to afford car insurance. They're going to have a chance to get their licenses reinstated, but some say more still needs to be done. I'm actually a chef during the day. Siobhan Goodspeed is proud to be an essential worker cooking healthy meals at a Metro Detroit assisted living home. It's a job she found after the pandemic left her for a time without work. As she worked to get back on her feet, she got pulled over and ticketed for not having proof of insurance. Because this is a misdemeanor. They did make me a criminal. She says she wants to pay for insurance, but there's a problem. The state has ordered her to get a six month policy. Hey, thank you so much. I listened as she got a quote on the phone. It was $4,250. And that is for a six month policy. She has a relatively clean driving record, lives in Detroit though, a city with high insurance rates, even after reforms promised savings. What are you driving, like a Lamborghini? Yeah, looks like, <laughs> no, I have a Dodge Journey. In the past, if she failed to pay the fine or a court ordered it, she could have also faced a suspended license. But a new law that goes into effect protects her from the suspended license. The state has routinely suspended the licenses of more than 350,000 drivers every year for non-driving related offenses. Attorney David Christensen says, for example, in the past, you could have had your driver's license suspended also for failure to appear in court. To try to pay for these problems, people find themselves still driving to work. Then they get a ticket for driving on a suspended license. The fines run into the tens of thousands of dollars for, for people, and it creates a, a cycle that it's impossible to get out of. The Michigan Joint Task Force on Jail and Pretrial Incarceration recommended this change, saying it would help change the fact that, as this graph from the Pew Charitable Trust shows, even as violent crime in Michigan decreased, incarcerations increased. And take a look at this. The Pew Charitable Trusts found that driving without a valid driver's license was the most common charge at jail admission for black residents in Michigan. I mean, it's heartbreaking to know that we that we have to go through this. Goodspeed says she is speaking out because while the law protecting her from losing her license is a step in the right direction, more needs to be done. She says being poor should not be a crime. So when I live in Monroe, Michigan, my insurance was $140 a month for full coverage. And they're basically telling the citizens of Detroit that they can't drive. If you're hoping this law change will help you get your driver's license reinstated, the first step is to contact the Secretary of State's office. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. And to find out if you qualify to get your license reinstated and what to do next, head to WXYZ.com.